Hey guys, today I'm adding to my Shepherd Closet series that I have here on my channel. I have some very romantic summer vacation outfits to share with you. And with these Shopping Closet videos, if you're new, I like to go on Instagram, Pinterest, mainly Pinterest, and I'll find some outfits that I really like and I want to recreate. I'll go to my closet and see if I have any pieces that I could use to recreate a similar look. Most of the time, I will just try to copy the look as close as I can using what I have in my closet, but Sometimes I will just go off in my own direction and just use the outfit as my base. That way I know what pieces to include. It's just fun because you can do whatever you prefer with these outfits. Also, just let me know what you want to see in my next shopper closet. This is something I'm always adding to on my channel. I've done a cottage core. I really want to do a royal core. I think that would just be so much fun. Maybe do some Bridgerton looks. And that's my shopper closet series. If you do want to see more of this shopper closet, don't forget to subscribe. I'll have a new video up for you every Friday. I will be adding more videos throughout the week if I can, but for sure I'll have a video up for you on Fridays. Like this video if you're still liking it. I really appreciate it. It really helps my channel out. And also I just want to quickly say thank you so much to any of you who left sweet comments on my community tab about my updated schedule. I used to upload every Monday and Friday and y'all have just been so sweet and understanding about that. I'm currently looking for a job and just having that window of time to make my videos. Every Friday is what I can do for right now. Let's get into this shopper closet. So this first outfit really stood out to me on Pinterest because it's got that romantic boho look to it, but it's still very comfortable. Boho styles in the summer are just very wearable in my opinion. I just think they're beautiful and just breathable light material for the most part. So I'm gonna start off with the most noticeable piece I think in her outfit, that orange skirt. The piece that I had that would give me a similar look to what she's wearing in this picture is this dress from Salty Crush. It has that similar floral pattern. It's in a dress, but I can definitely get a similar look to what she's getting as you'll see throughout the video, but this one in particular is just very comfortable. It's keeping to that bright summer color. It's literally a dupe for a Spell and Gypsy style. And that is the first item that I use to start off this look. Next, she has that white long sleeve top. She's got it kind of gathered in the middle with a bow in the front. And it does look like her sleeves might be in that bell sleeve. But the item that I chose from my closet that I felt would work was this top from Free People. This top in particular, I preferred with the dress that I chose. It just works really well with it. And it isn't meant to be like a crop style, but it's really easy to tie like she did in the front. It also has the long sleeve, but it's loose and it also has like beautiful lace trimming throughout it. So it just adds a little bit more of my romantic style to the look. For some reason, I've been finding myself wanting to wear more of the long sleeves this summer. I'm not sure what it is. The lighter fabric just feels nice on my skin, nice and cool. In this picture, it doesn't show what shoes she is wearing. So I ended up just improvising and using what I have in my closet. I just use a pair of sandals. Um, these ones in particular are from an online store called Bone. They're very comfortable and they do kind of keep to that boho look that I'm going for with this outfit. And then next you'll look closely. She does have like that really pretty shoulder bag. Um, it looks like it's one of those circle ones. It's kind of in a leather style. The closest thing that I have to that in my closet is my brown shoulder bag. It's more of a saddle bag type of thing. I feel like it works really well, especially with that brown leather look that fits really well into the boho styles. I have never worn this outfit combination before and now I am. I came across this outfit on Pinterest and this is the most beautiful neutral summer chic outfit. There are some details that I noticed about this one that I hadn't thought of from my closet. So I wanted to go ahead and recreate this one. I think this is one that a lot of you would be able to recreate. Okay, so first of all, she's got those brown high-waisted paper bag pants. If you just have a pair of white pants, I've got a pair of wide leg linen pants that I could have used for this look, but I wanted to keep to that paper bag style with the um, high waist. 
So I ended up wearing my favorite pair of pants to wear in the summer at the moment. These are from Blank NYC. They're very heavy. Like you wouldn't think that these would be comfortable to wear in the summer, but the material is very soft and cool and it's a looser style. So it just works in the summer. And I'm very picky about what I like to wear in the summer, like pants in particular. If you have bigger hips like I do, I have very curvy hips and these ones are the best that I have found. And let me tell you, I have tried so many paper bag or high waist paper bag styles and these ones are the only ones so far that I have found that are comfortable and actually fit over my hips. So the next piece in this outfit is that off the shoulder ruffled smocked blouse. She's got it in short sleeves. There's a little button up style in the front. I actually would really like to know where that top is from because off the shoulder styles in the summer are so pretty and they're very romantic too. But the top that I ended up going for from my closet was this ruffled short sleeve button up top from Bohm. This blouse just really complements those high-waisted pants and I haven't worn this one all that much yet and I really like the vintage floral pattern on it and it has the ruffles on it and I really do like that ruffled look that she got from her blouse and I kind of wanted to carry it over into my look. The next piece in this outfit are the shoes that she's wearing and I'm actually looking at them. They correlate really well with that straw basket on the bike. I do have a pair of slip-on shoes that are very similar to these. They're a little bit more simple. They just have crisscross style, very neutral, but hers are definitely a little bit more detailed with the straps. Any slip-on shoe, slip-on sandal that you have, I think would work perfectly with this. That's comfortable for you to wear in the summer. So if you really want to copy this look exactly, she also does have some pearl clips kind of pulling her hair back. I really like how she did it with this outfit because I do think that it complements the white and neutrals that she has going on. It's really nice when you find neutral outfits like this on Pinterest because these ones are just the best to recreate. You can go off in so many different directions depending on what you want. next outfit is my favorite. I couldn't believe that I was able to recreate this look. To start off a look, she has that beautiful floral, it looks like a slip dress or maybe a sundress type of thing, has those bigger floral prints on it. So the dress that I use to get a similar look to this dress is from Target. The floral prints from the dress that I chose are definitely a little bit smaller than what is shown in this picture, but really just going with what you have, I think is perfectly fine. And I really like this dress. I love how bright and cheerful it is. You also have some details to it. You've got the buttons in the front. So I started off with that dress and I'm really happy how closely it resembles the dress that she's wearing. But layered on top of that dress is that lace duster cardigan. The piece that I was able to pull from my closet is a lace duster from Free People. It has the same gorgeous just floral embroidery. It's just very detailed. The fabric is incredibly soft. It's very delicate, but the price point is much better. I did want to say, because I was able to find this lace cardigan in the picture from Love Shack Fancy and it's very expensive. This one from Free People is a little bit more of an ivory cream color. The one from in the picture is definitely a little bit more of a brighter white, but it still gives the same idea. Just having lace in general layered on top of a slip dress or something like that, I think is what really brings this look together. I ended up going in with a belt. Even though it's not shown in this picture, I just kind of went and did my own little thing to kind of make the look my own. But I have this belt from Salty Crush that I love and it just looks really nice. It brings in the waist and I just felt like it complemented this look very well. So I just decided to go ahead and include it into the look. In the picture, she's got that straw hat and I did want to include that because I think 
straw hats are a must accessory in the summer. I think they just go together. So I like how she has the ribbon on there and everything. I just have this straw hat from Gigi Pip. It's been my go-to for a couple years now. It's actually getting a little bit beat up now. It's kind of folding in on itself a little bit. It's been worn a lot. And then for her shoes, it does not show what shoes she is wearing. So I decided to keep it as girly and feminine as possible. So I went in and included a pair of lace-up shoes that I have from, that I actually purchased from Love Shack Fancy. These are just something to finish off a romantic look. These actually are very comfortable to walk around in. I do not mind a good wedge sandal in the in the summer and especially for a summer vacation outfit you definitely want something that's comfortable i ended up going for this pair for my outfit fourth outfit is getting back to those classic neutral colors. You can come up with so many different outfit combinations and I feel like with this one it's no different. There are so many different ways you could go with this depending on your style preferences. To start off this look she's got those cream oversized pleated linen shorts. I do actually have a pair that I do enjoy wearing in the summer and they are from Bohm. These ones are just in that looser style. I like the pockets on it. It has elastic around the waist. The ones that I have from Bohm are tighter around the leg. The next piece in this outfit is that oversized button up top. I really like the color of that one and that very soft beige color. The piece that I ended up using from my closet is actually more of a cream color than the beige. I was trying to keep to the button-up style. It's got more of the floral embroidery on it, which brings in a little bit more of, of my style. And the cream in this one works really well with the white shorts. I have never tried this outfit combination before, and I just like how they look together. The thing that I think really pulls this outfit together is that belt. Because if that wasn't in the outfit, I don't think that it would look as structured. So I did include that straw belt again just to kind of pull things together. The next part to this outfit are those slip-on detailed weave sandals. I really like those. I really like the color of them. They're very light and they work really well with the shorts that she's wearing. I ended up going for my slip-on heels from Lulu's. They have that quilted style to them. These ones are a little bit more dressy than what I would probably wear on vacation, but I could always switch this out for a pair of wedges or whatever I wanted to wear, but I just wanted to use heels, the nude heels for this one because I feel like it works really well with the two pieces that I have in my closet. The last piece in this outfit, she does have that straw handbag, which I need to invest in a straw handbag. I just haven't found the one that I want to as of yet. I went for this uh, cream handbag. This is from Nordstrom. outfit that I have been wanting to recreate for a long time. This dress is from Philly Boo. It's, I think it's a, a collab that they did with Free People, I believe, but the dress is beautiful and it definitely makes this whole look. I do not have this dress from Philly Boo, but for now I do have this piece that looks very similar to it in my closet and it is from River Island. This is a newer piece they came out with for the summer and this one is just beautiful. It has ruffles like the Philly Boo dress. It has the same idea as this dress. It has that pastel tie-dye 
you've got the embroidery, you've got florals on it. The dress in the picture is definitely a little bit more extravagant and detailed, but this one I think gives a much similar look and is definitely much more on a budget. The material of this dress is slightly see-through, so you do have to be careful what you wear underneath it. But if you wear like nude colored items, I think you would be fine without having to wear a slip dress underneath it. But this is something that I think works really well as a beach cover-up. I personally just like to wear it as a dress. I think it is just such a beautiful piece. The second piece in this outfit is that straw hat. And I could definitely just go for my Gigi Pip basic straw hat, but... I wanted to add some color. So I added this pink hat from Lack of Color. It has a really pretty embroidery around the headbands. And I just liked how it added a little bit more personality to this look. I was just feeling the color in this outfit. I think since the colors in the dress that I have are a little bit more vibrant than the ones that she has in her picture, I feel like it just kind of works together. If you're wanting a little bit softer like hers, you could go for some basic straw hats or you could add some color with a, a colored fedora hat or something like that. So if you look closely in the picture, it doesn't show what shoes she is wearing. So I kind of just finished off with a pair of shoes that I find very comfortable. I just used my slip-on sandals and it worked perfectly fine for me, especially for the summer. Those are all of my outfits that I have to share with you today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope these help you out if you're going on summer vacation soon, but I will see you very soon in the next video. Bye.